Hello everybody, this is Rich Sispides, and I'm here with the recent discovery that I came out, um, that kind of invented, kind of discovered, um, just like a month ago. I've been practicing with this uh, can floating on water on a plate um, for a while now, and I've gotten really, really good at it. Um, the thing is, though, is that it's very simple to put together, and it doesn't cost nothing, because, you know, people have plate, and they have water, and you could get a can um um, anywhere in your house so um, the thing is those I, I just wanted to upload a video to talk more detail in the how to uh, put this thing together and how to practice and how to get good at it and how to develop your telekinesis and um, I, I made a video talking about it but I kinda felt like that one wasn't good enough so this one is gonna explain a little bit more this one um, you wanna get yourself like a nice low plate as you can see here <clears throat> a nice very low plate like you see right there um, I, I recommend one with the walls not too high like this a little bit more lower a nice low plate with the uh, not so large walls like this and then what you want to do is that you want to put some water into this plate and you want to put the right amount of water not too much and not too low because you don't want the can to touch the bottom of the plate and you want to have to adjust the can a little bit and make it stand up straight so when you get standing up straight you want to put one left or right hand right next to it send the intention just let your hand sit there send your intention send your emotions to tell it to come towards you not with thoughts or words but just feel it visualize it coming towards you feel it coming closer and closer and 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 the thing is though is that the can is gonna move a little bit slow you have to be patient the can is gonna move a little bit slow towards your hand when you have your hand next to it but it's because in um your beginning and over time it'll move faster and quicker because the hand uh is projecting the bioelectrical thermal energy and it connects with uh, the water and the water in the can is going to read your information is going to recognize you, it's going to be confused with you it'll move more quicker so remember just put your left your hand next to it just send your intentions your emotions take your time don't force yourself it'll move toward it it'll be slow but be patient you'll get more faster just let your hand sit there send your emotion intentions you're fusing with the object over time and water right here this is when you get more better um, you could put both hands around it just like a side wheel and be able to control the object in any direction that you want right now I'm just controlling it left to right so I'm making it move left toward my left side and then I'm gonna stop it and make it move right so you can read from the words on the top of the text and the thing is those are right here um, you're, using, you're using both hands because your your energy is surrounding the object and connecting to the object and the water more easier infusing with it and your intention your thoughts is um, basically sending the information and connecting with it and controlling with it working with water allows you to connect with the object and control the object more better it's more easier uh, and um, just follow the intricacies of the motion of the object how it moves slowly very subtly don't force yourself take your time um, let it guide you if it moves to the left or right by itself just push it toward that direction just follow it Believe that the motion is coming from you. Practice this for about a few days to a few weeks, however long it takes. But a few days is all you need. Then when you get more better, more confident, then um, you want to challenge yourself a little bit. Take it slow. You want to, after pushing it and the direction is going and believing in it, you want to redirect its, re its, its direction, redirect its motion, and make it go the other way. You'll then see and realize that it's reading your thoughts and your intentions and it'll stop and go the other way as you can see here it's going toward my left side as you can see from the text it's going to I stopped it and redirected it to my left side I started going to my right and then to my left and that's what you can do this is the next level after working with one hand left or the right hand you work with both hands and then as you get more better you can see right here um, um, right here I'm going to use my uh, my hand from a distance and my right hand to the side of the can and this is kinda like in the middle intermediate advancement but what's gonna happen is that um, you're gonna be able to do this with no hands at all I was able to move the can with no hands just a few days ago but I haven't uploaded the video it's a little bit difficult but what it is, is that what's going on is the crazy thing is that you're working with uh, you're actually projecting your chi energy from a distance and it's very easy the water reads you and is very intuitive and and reads your emotions and your intentions very easy working with water and this working with this technique will work and it'll help you to grow you could work with sliding cups on dry surfaces over time 
And the thing is, though, is that what I was trying to say was that um, you're projecting omnipresence. What you're doing, what I'm doing, is that when you're working with your hands from a distance or with your hands nowhere near the object, you're what you're doing is that you're um, creating a phantom limb effect. You know what a phantom limb is? It's a person who gets their arm cut off or hand cut off, and they still feel that their hand is there or their arm is there, but it's all in their head. Or is it? The thing is, though, is in telekinesis, I think that what we're doing is that we're creating a phantom limb effect to move the object. And that's what we're doing with the water in the can, is that it allows us to develop our telekinesis slash phantom limb in order to create, uh, to project our thermal biological energy that our hand has and our arm has naturally and make it manifest in thin air next to the object. That's what's going on here. And that's what's going on when we do it from a distance with our hand nowhere near it. And that's what we can do when we practice long with this. Please practice with it. Be thankful for any movement you see, believe in it, and you'll grow.